Okay, what's up everybody? It's me, Erica, and this is your Love and Hip Hop review. I don't remember what episode this is. I think it's four, three or four. Um, let's get into it. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment. Let the diva know you stopped by. I just did another video on the the baby um debacle <laughs> and um what my thoughts were on that. So if you have any thoughts on that, go to that video and share them in the comments. All right. So Rashida and her um mother were I don't know Rashida was talking about her sister boo boo pookie something um Rashida was talking about her sister and how she likes to borrow money and stuff like that Erica goes to see Dr. Jackie and they're discussing um um you know how far along she is what her response was no what his response was she was like I told him and she was like, um, how did he react? She was like, he didn't, he didn't, I forgot what she said. But basically, Dr. Jackie told her, the way that you acted, you can't expect for him to be super happy. Because when I told you that you were pregnant, you just looked at me for 10 minutes, stared at me for 10 minutes. And so you can't expect him to have a different reaction. You didn't even have the same reaction. You weren't happy either. Um... And then she said, what else did she say? Oh, that she said she's worried about being left with two children under two years old. And that's what she said. Little baby Tate is in Los Angeles. Um, the little the little boy Guap dad. Um, she said he's being weird. Um acts like he's more important rehearsal felt like she didn't matter wasn't on my side human heart attached to people who don't want to be attached to you yeah it's basically going through those things in in your journey as a young woman right you want to give women young women advice on how to navigate um you know relating to young men and how that looks and how they've been taught to act and relate. But one of the things that I think we should teach young girls is that you cannot change a person. You, Your presence in someone's life is not going to change them. While you may be of influence, you cannot change them. Another thing is if a person is telling you that they are a hoe that would indicate that they like to have sex with a lot of different people that is not someone you would want to enter into a relationship with and expect them to be your nigga right because they have told you that they are for everybody so you should take a person's word for who they say they are. If they're telling you, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, don't think, don't, a lot of us won't listen to when people tell you who they are, when people show you who they are, believe them. And I think a lot of young women miss out on that, right? There should be no way that she thought that she can enter into a relationship with a man who calls himself a hoe. There's no way you could, you shouldn't have even thought that it was a possibility. And that's where we need to drill into the heads of young girls and young women. However, sometimes the lesson is best learned when you experience yourself. So while you can say, hey, this guy said he was a hoe, you shouldn't enter into a relationship with him. I'm telling you what you should not do or a suggestion on what you shouldn't do. The likelihood of her saying, well, I'm going to see myself. I don't care what the Yelp reviews say. I'm going to see my, I'm going to see myself. And sometimes that has to happen. And that's just it. Um, don't attach your people, don't attach yourself People have weird attachment styles. Do not attach yourself to someone who's constantly pushing you away, right? They're constantly pushing you away. 
you're constantly wanting to be next to them don't do that. that's another thing so that's some advice for little baby tate rashida is building another press in atlanta um, her mom is there and she says she wants to have her sister a birthday dinner at the bistro um it's so draining that someone always wants something from you um rashida feels like she is the bank um and kirk said she's a sucker so like we're gonna have this this um you know little dinner at at frost bistro um and he says rashida is a sucker for everything and I thought to myself, she absolutely is, Kirk, with your three earrings. She absolutely is a sucker for everything. Um, so she's saying she wants to give her relationship with her sister a try. They were close at first, and they just lost contact. They probably lost contact and were not in, involved are in a relationship with each other because she got looks like she probably got on drugs or something like that so it would be it's natural for them to go in different directions because they have different interests you want to be on drugs i want to make money so i guess that works out for you because i'm your sister and you can come and ask me for money anytime you want to even though i'm tired of it and i'm not going to say i'm tired of it but whatever yandy and mandy i don't know why i wrote that y'all <laughs> i don't even know why i wrote that um yandy tells the girl infinity that she has to talk to the man so here goes the this this idea that um mandices is the man of the house so you got to talk to the man of the house yandy is so when i look at yandy she's so tired and through for me like i I'm not here for her. Um, he's more protective over our family than I am. Um, he's saying family issues are not for social media. Um, how can I trust you again if every time I do something, you say you want to write a book? Um, how can I trust you? Um, and then Man Mandisos, Mandisos is saying, I need to be able to trust her and I don't need to be walking on eggshells. So basically, he doesn't want what's going on in his house on social media. So whatever his behavior is, he doesn't want it talked about on social media because, I guess, of their visibility. And this girl is, you know, talking shit about her foster parents. Well, I'm, I'm assuming he's not her foster parent, is that Yandy is. But that's what kids do like i don't understand like if you're not being cool with me and i'm in the house and you're at you're saying something and you're on getting on my nerve my foster parents i'm gonna say it but it's probably because the visibility is like and it does look like yandy got rid of the girl when mandigo came home that's what it looks like to me that's what it looks like to me he says she got to get her emotions under control um that's what it looks like to me and it's like so i'm the i'm the foster kid i don't like something that's happening i'm gonna go online and talk shit you're gonna get mad and then say that you don't want me i don't i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it oh yeah yandy was running down the street after the girl or whatever i was in and out i was kind of paying attention not really i'm at rashida's sister's dinner um basically Rashida's sister doesn't want to hear any grievances against her right um I felt she was very manipulative at the table when she said I'm sorry I'm not who you want me to be and it's just like nobody wants you to be anybody but yourself you know um and your true authentic self right Nobody wants you to be anything, but there are people who want you to conform to what they want you to be. But if, I don't know, I just, it felt weird, like that whole conversation, it was just weird. Um, they were talking about being too busy and not having time, I guess, to spend with each other. Um, Rashida says, I invite you, you don't ever show up to stuff. 
when you show up, you have an attitude. It's like, well, why does she have an attitude? Is anybody asking her why she has an attitude? What is the problem? Like, I don't, I don't, you know, I was thinking when I was watching, I was like, okay. <sighs> okay, now we're getting to know Rashida's family, right? We already know her mom. Now, I didn't even know Rashida had a sister, right? I didn't know that. And so now we're meeting this sister who clearly has some addiction, has an addiction. She's always asking for money, always moving, always need money for this, always helping her buy a car. Um, maybe, I think her mother said that they are enabling her. Yeah, there's some enabling happening. And it's crazy because you enable the person, but then you complain about them always asking you for money. And it's like, where do you find the balance? So that's what maybe Rashida is going to have to do. Um, Erica and Safari, he, she apologizes to him for pressing him about his reaction. Girl, he's in the studio. Anyways, um, they're talking, having a conversation. He wants a little boy. Um, she wants to tell him the gender of the baby. Um, and while they're talking, the little baby, who looks really like a mixture of both of them, that the little baby, um, she's playing on the guitar and she falls and falls back and the guitar falls on her. Now the guitar doesn't look very heavy, but as she falls, Safari is like, oh, <gasps> like that right like oh my god and he does not move and he doesn't get the baby and then erica goes you know get the baby you freaking idiot why you didn't he thought it was funny and that's very alarming to me that when you see a child someone who is defenseless in crisis you laugh that's weird as hell Y'all, that is weird as hell. Besides all of this, this is another example. You, Your first reaction was to gasp and then chuckle, not move into action to remove or get the, the guitar off of the baby. Um... You got blessed and you're not man enough. That, that was suspicious. It just stopped. Anyways, but it's weird because she, she says, you got blessed with all of these things and you're not man enough to live up to that. It's so weird. It is so weird. It's like this, a series of events when you look back at it. Like, you really got with Safari on some, like... I don't know. I don't even care to delve into it. It's just really weird. The whole thing is weird because now, like in the blogs, they're saying like she's damaged some of his property. Um, it's just really weird what the whole relationship is just weird. Like I feel like I feel like Erica and Safari, like Safari was fetishizing Erica and she was fetishizing him. They both want and are attention seeking whores and will do anything for TV and they got together and then she got pregnant and then they got married I don't know the order of things and then within before the baby is a year old you have another baby this man is not present he's absent he's has to warm up to everything he doesn't realize how hard it is to raise a child so much so that he lets you do it all on your own he doesn't realize how hard it is but i'm gonna let you do it on your own um and then is not happy when you announce that you're pregnant and is like i want a boy because i want someone to allow to to he says i want someone to what legacy what legacy safari what legacy? Fur coats and shades? What legacy? A silicone dick? What legacy? A mold? A OnlyFans account? What legacy? Do you want... Oh, you want a boy so that you can teach the boy. You know, 
I'm done talking. Okay, well, anyway, Safari smiles at the end of all of that. It's very weird. Um, it's very weird, but, you know, once again, we have another example of a person, this type of man and the type of woman, and it's like if you say anything, it's so weird. It's so weird. Everything is weird. Everybody is weird. Everything is weird. These people are crazy. I think it's okay for... I want people to show themselves. I think it's, I think when people show you who they are, I really believe that. I really believe that. And, and so there's been so many times that you ignore that. When somebody tells you I'm this and I'm that and I'm this, and they make these proclamations of who they are, watch them online. Watch what somebody tells you. I'm this type of person. I'm a mean bitch. I'm motivated by money. I, I only get up for money. Like those kind of people. You just just watch people and and they will tell you. They will tell you who they are. They will show you who they are. And let me tell you something. Please believe people. No, like Maya Angelou says, nobody knows themselves better than they know themselves. And if they're telling you this is who I am, say okay and proceed accordingly. And that's it. Anyways, y'all, take care of each other. Protect your energy. That was the end of the episode. It wasn't much. I don't know if I'm going to keep reviewing real, uh, what is this called? Love and Hip Hop? It's, it's like, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, it's weird. The shit is fucking weird. Like, Yandy being there it's just the girl it's everything it's the the show is weird as hell I don't even know what's going on I don't even know what's going on and then we got a third episode with babe where are the rest of the cast like I don't understand what's going on it's weird anyways take care of each other protect your energy and we'll get down in the comments peace